going to have to finish off this pullover now by modifying the bottom of the, the mesh here as we did with the neck and the sleeves. I'll sweep this down once more. I'll expand it a little bit to give a bit of a shape to it here. Another sweep. Move it up. Another sweep. A scale. This goes very fast with practice doing these simple movements. Again, we're using the basic, some basic tools here. And then we have a nice negative effect there. We're going to go back into the neck now to produce a, a neck and then more of a head to this model. Now we've got the problem we can't actually see the control mesh with inside. So we've got a couple of options here. We can actually come out of the, con the control mesh solid view, go to wire view, and then we've got more of a chance of selecting the the bottom face. We can see it highlighted now. We'll do it this way for the moment, so we can see the bottom face highlighted. As we rotate around, we can see quite clearly where it is inside the melted mesh. We're going to go back to solid render with wireframe, just because we can see the, the form of the mesh as we're making it then. I'm going to move that up again inside, right click drag. It's slightly bulbous now, you can see that's going to be the start of the neck. We'll do a sweep on there. As we're moving vertically now, the sweeps are coming out of the collar. And once again another sweep. And then we have a neck. Very simple. It's a good idea to start adding some colour now while well, we can still get to all of the control mesh. So I'm going to drop out, go into the material editor, select paint face, I'll take a slightly different colour now, I'll take a lighter colour. Now I can start painting the control mesh and we're getting a live update onto the subdivision surface mesh of the colour changes. Very useful. As the mesh gets more complicated it's not a bad idea to drop out of subdivision editing and just expose the control mesh. Now we can just go in and color the basic control mesh here, knowing that when, once we've melted it again, the colors will automatically be transferred to the mesh. There we have it. Okay, in the next tutorial we're going to move on to the head.